Hello and welcome to Blue Lab's official video on how to use the Blue Lab Guardian Monitor. We will show you how to set up the monitor for the first use, calibrate the pH probe, and take readings. We have tips for care at the end of the video. First, check the box contents. The Blue Lab Guardian Monitor comes with a conductivity temperature probe attached to the monitor. You'll also have a replaceable Blue Lab pH probe, a pH probe holder with suction cup, 5 volt power supply, plug adapters, 4 mounting fasteners, 2 cable ties, pH 7.0, pH 4.0, and 2.77 EC single use solution sachets, plus a getting started guide. Choose a location less than 2 meters or 6.5 feet from your reservoir and less than 1.5 meters or 4.9 feet from your electrical outlet. There are two ways to mount the Guardian monitor onto the wall. Install with fasteners at the top and bottom or mount the monitor to a support or bar by using the cable ties. To set up the power supply, attach the AC plug to the jack labeled power input. Next, slide the plug adapter you need onto the power supply. Plug the power supply into an electrical outlet. Wait for the Guardian monitor to complete the display test sequence. Press and hold the conductivity unit button for three seconds to change the units. Release. Repeat until the LED glows next to the units you want to measure in. Press and hold the temperature unit button for three seconds to change units. Release. Repeat until the LED glows next to the desired unit. Press and hold the brightness button, and at the same time, press the up or down button to change the brightness of the LEDs. 1 equals least bright, 8 equals brightest. Connect the pH probe to the Guardian monitor by lining up the lugs of the BNC fittings. Fasten securely by pushing the pH probe connector on and twisting one quarter turn. The pH probe needs to be calibrated to the monitor before you take readings. Calibrate your pH probe to two points for accuracy. Use freshly poured pH 7.0 and pH 4.0 calibration solutions. With the Guardian plugged into a power source, place the probe in pH 7.0 solution. Be sure to wait until the reading has stopped moving. Press and hold the pH Cal button until the display shows pH and Cal on the top two displays. Release the button. Seven will flash on the pH display. Then the pH 7.0 indicator light will glow. Rinse the probe tip in clean tap water and place in pH 4.0 solution. Be patient and wait for the reading to stop. Remember, it may take a few minutes. Press and hold the pH Cal button until pH and Cal appear. Release. Four will flash on the pH display. Then the pH 4.0 indicator light will glow. Rinse the probe in clean tap water. You have successfully calibrated when you see both calibration indicator lights glowing. Discard all used solution after calibration. Never put them back into the bottle as you will contaminate the solution. Clean and calibrate the pH probe once a month to ensure accurate readings. The calibration indicators will flash or disappear one month after the last successful calibration to remind you it's time to calibrate again. Your conductivity temperature probe is factory calibrated, so it is ready to use. You'll need to clean and test it once a month to ensure accurate readings. To store the pH probe when not in use, always ensure the pH probe tip is wet. If it dries, it dies. Check there is enough Blue Lab pH probe KCL storage solution in the cap to cover the probe tip. If not, add KCL solution to ensure the probe tip will be covered. Place the cap back on the probe twist the top counterclockwise to secure. Always store the pH probe in KCL storage solution. Never use RO, distilled, or deionized water. Pure water changes the chemistry in the probe, causing the probe to die. Both of the probes require submersion in the liquid for a measurement to occur. The pH probe comes with a suction cup to prevent permanent damage to the glass probe. Remove the pH probe storage cap. Gently twist the suction cup onto the stem of the pH probe. Lightly push the suction cup onto the side of the reservoir, far enough down so the pH probe is in the solution. The probe needs to be submerged in the liquid for a measurement to occur. Place the conductivity temperature probe in the solution. 
chlorine concentrated nutrient solution or pH adjuster on the probes when in the reservoir can damage the probes and may trigger the alarm if it has been set. To set the quick set alarm function, the solution in your tank needs to be adjusted to the desired levels for all three parameters and the levels displayed in each window. To activate the quick set, press and hold the alarm button until ALH is displayed in all three windows. Release the button. Press the brightness button once. All three windows display auto for one second, then save will show in the conductivity window. The alarms are now automatically set and the alarm LED will glow indicating it is activated. If you wish to manually input high and low alarm settings, watch the Guardian Monitor alarm setting video. Remember, if you're taking measurements from different solution, always rinse each probe using clean tap water to remove traces of nutrient solution to ensure accurate readings. We at Blue Lab hope you enjoy using your Blue Lab Guardian monitor. To maximize the life of your monitor and equipment, we recommend these care steps. Keep the pH probe tip wet. If it dries, it dies. Follow the full cleaning procedures for both probes each month. You can watch the Blue Lab Guardian monitor cleaning and calibration video online if you need a refresher. Position the monitor in a cool, dry, clean place. Keep out of direct sunlight. If the monitor gets wet, wipe dry immediately. For more information about Blue Lab products, visit www.getbluelab.com.